ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಧ್ಯಮಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತಂ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೈ ಲವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಮೈ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಟುಡೇ ಮೈ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಇಸ್ ಕುಂಡಲಿನಿ ಅವ್ಯಾಕನಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ see from the time human beings have started thinking human beings suspected that they have more energy intelligence than they are able to express in everyday life this suspicion is a root cause of all creativity people who suspected that they have more energy and intelligence and started expressing that in a physical form they became creators i can give you hundreds of example people who constructed this huge stone temples in south india huge buildings all over the world all of them expressed that inner potential energy in a physical form and there are some who express that in artistic form i can say a great painting a great poetry these are not just physical expression they are artistic emotional expression ultimately when a being when a man realizes his complete inner potential energy and expresses it in the form of pure energy to help others it is called spiritual energy please understand human beings from the time immemorial suspected that they have more energy some express that energy in the physical form like a construction carving building some express that energy in the form of poetry painting dance art very few express that energy as pure energy as kundalini shakti very few unfortunate decided there is no such inner potential energy except what we know in the day to day life that we call them as atheists they end up living the life in depression drug finally land into death i can say when you do not even suspect that you have something more than what meets the eye your life will be dull suspecting you have something more than what you express in your day to day life is the first step for any higher conscious experience or any growth any growth in any line in any level whether your growth is related to ordinary physical wealth or the extraordinary inner wealth the first thing necessity is suspecting i may be having something more than what my parents have taught me what my society has made to made me to believe 
when that suspicion is confirmed by one or two of your actions, then your seeking starts. And the proper methods and techniques which were created by the enlightened beings to awaken your inner potential energy is what we call yoga and dhyana, meditation. So, the extraordinary inner potential energy which you have only I call as Kundalini Shakti. Thousands of years before, our great masters like Padanjali, father of yoga, Shiva, the father of all great philosophies like Vedanta, all these great masters have very clearly expressed a powerful techniques and methods to awaken the Kundalini Shakti, extraordinary inner potential energy. One of the important methods to awaken that energy is for initiation, means diksha by the enlightened master. Please understand, when an enlightened being whose kundalini is awakened by his guru touches you, blesses you, transmits his energy, sometime not even touching, just by a hand movement, just by a look, when the energy gets awakened in your system, you also experience the same highest conscious coherence which an enlightened being expresses. This initiation is what I call transmission of energy. Please understand, when an enlightened master initiates you, your Kundalini also gets awakened. You can see some of the people shaking their body. Don't be afraid. They are not hypnotized or mesmerized. You see, a hypnotized person will not be blissful. They are not hypnotized or mesmerized. Their Kundalini is awakened. When the Kundalini awakens, such an extraordinary joy and energy, their body becomes very light. You see, your mind is the main reason for your heaviness. When your mind becomes light, your body automatically starts levitating. It is not hypnotism, it is not mesmerism. A mesmerized person will not have high awareness. Now I am going to demonstrate in front of you, through the proper scientific researches under the controlled conditions from a reputed scientist and the doctors who are working in the field of neurofeedback for last decades. Through their scientific studies, they have discovered not only the people whose Kundalini is awakened, whose body is levitating, not only they are not memorized, sorry, they are not mesmerized or hypnotized, their awareness is multiple times higher than a normal human being, means high intelligence, high clarity, high awareness and high restfulness. Please understand, the doctors who are doing research on this, this phenomena, what I call Kundalini awakening, the power of initiation, they were shocked to see even in the waking state, they are in such a deep restful awareness. One side, if you see their peace, it is almost like a deeper than the deep sleep. Other side, if you see their awareness, multiple times higher than the waking state. This is what Padanjali calls Jakrat Sushupti. 
awakened sleep i can say translate in a beautiful word restful awareness in sanskrit we call surya the state is called surya the fourth state see there are three states waking state dream state deep sleep state all these three all of you know but this fourth state turiya kundalini awakened state only a meditator or who is initiated by a enlightened being only they know the joy and bliss and intelligence and experience of this state all the religions all over the world work for this state vivekananda says very beautifully all our books theories meditations yoga techniques symbols temples rituals festivals tirthas yatras everything is for this enlightenment for this kundalini awakening but blessed are those very few rare souls who get the initiation from an enlightened being blessed are those who get the transmission of energy and experience kundalini awakening in a very young age in a very easy way without much difficulty and live that joy you can never become a billionaire by begging 1 rupee 1 rupee 1 rupee 1 rupee 1 rupee you can become a billionaire only if a billionaire writes the will to you very rarely few people work hard and try to become billionaires honestly they also become billionaires but number is very small like you yourself doing sadhana for 20 years 25 years finally experiencing the kundalini awakening by that time you experience the kundalini awakening your life is over you become old you don't enjoy the joy of living enlightenment joy of living enlightenment it's like a by the time you become become a billionaire you are old by the time you acquire food to eat you have diabetes you can't eat there are some people who grab others wealth swindle others wealth and become rich very quickly but unfortunately in the inner world you cannot grab only in the outer world wealth you can steal inner world wealth you cannot grab or steal inner world wealth can be experienced only by you experiencing through meditation and proper technique or an enlightened master initiating you in the inner world no stealing will work see competition is one thing in the outer world also competition is okay nothing wrong but not grabbing the neck of people biting and sucking the blood completely destroying the enemies destroying the competitors is not the right way of life it is a demonic way of life when you are kundalini is awakened properly through the initiation of an enlightened master your brain reaches the highest coherence highest conscious coherence and your non mechanical parts of the brain gets awakened please understand your brain has two different parts mechanical parts means 
the parts which are responsible for your function of the art, the function of arts function, the function of the lungs, function of the kidney, these parts are all mechanical. It, it will be functioning for all the human beings. Whoever is healthy, for all human beings, uh, for all of them it will be functioning. But the non-mechanical parts of the brain, those parts are responsible for the extraordinary powers like telepathy, teleporting, and we call it teleporting the information and teleporting the material. Today I am going to demonstrate only levitation, but very soon, maybe within a month, I will call one more press meet. I will be demonstrating the teleportation itself under the controlled conditions. Today we don't have enough time, that much of time. And we are also getting more scientists from American University. We are now working to have tie up with two, three universities. So we wanted the teleportation to be demonstrated. Teleportation means dismantling an object just through the mental power. I can say the mental power is too small word, deeper than mind. Maybe I can say energy, that will be the better word. Through the energy, dismantling an object and transporting it in the air and assembling it again, the place we need. So, I, we already did a pilot study, just yesterday we had a pilot study, very successful, but I am, I need time, like a, maybe one hour, the whole team has to sit with me, like a media, scientist, and the person who is receiving, the place where it is going to be teleported, the place where it is going to see the, the place where it will be kept also under the control of the scientist. The place where it need to reach also will be under the control of scientists. So we will demonstrate in the controlled condition. Today we have not prepared all those controlled conditions. Of course, if you just want to see casually, you can see, just now I teleported a Rudraksha to woman, sorry, diamond to woman, you could have seen, they were live. But I do not want to say this as my presentation, I wanted to present only in a controlled condition. When I present it to media, I wanted all the questions of the media to be answered before they have question. Because I wanted the science to be respected, not to be made fun. <laughs> not to be made fun. It is Please understand, these are some of our great tradition, the extraordinary powers and experiences. I am trying to revive those great signs, the great Padanjali sciences, the power of mind and power of consciousness. So today I will present Kundalini awakening, levitation the energy activation in front of the media and I will answer all the questions you have related to this and not only that, we can even have a specimen from press somebody if you want to volunteer you can come. We will fix the machine on your brain also, your head also. You try to jump the same way they jump but your brain will not show the way which their brain is showing. We will demonstrate very clearly. So through this we will prove they are not jumping voluntarily. It is some higher experience happening which is moving their body. We will prove and not only that, any other question you have, you may have hundreds of questions. Are they under drugs? No, not only they are not under drugs, if somebody was addicted to drugs through this initiation, they come out of drugs. That's one. Second, are they hypnotized? No. Not only they are not hypnotized, if they are hypnotized by some other way for some other reason, if after initiation they come out. 
same thing. The health, the doctors and scientists, they will present it to you. This Kundalini awakening completely heals the body, raising the mitochondria energy level 1300%. See, all available medicines, drugs, therapies, exercise, everything can raise the mitochondria cell energy only 40 percent, not more than that. Mitochondria cell is the, they will describe, that is the unit, the energy unit of your body. But through this initiation, 1300 percent the Kundalini, the mitochondria cell energy goes up. So, because of this, physical health is restored and not only that, top 10 mental disorders like depression, insomnia, many of the disorders, I can say the first top 10 major disorders, 100 person gets healed. There is no allopathy medicine which can claim 100 person cure for the mental disorders, the top 10 mental disorders, whoever we test, you see, we did the scientific study on, in the controlled conditions, double blind study on many different groups, every group, 100 percent, people get out of this top 10 mental disorders. So, directly, this Kundalini awakening heals your body and mind and raises your conscious level. For that also we have evidences. The doctors and scientists will present in front of you. Now we will enter into the scientific presentation of this Kundalini awakening, demonstration of this Kundalini awakening. Then I will answer all the questions from the media. I request media sincerely, please ask all your questions now, I will answer. And if you have any doubt, I will answer. But do not disrespect in any way this system, this science. That is my humble request. Because last time, without getting my answers, one or two channels are disrespected this science, which was really hurting. I can, I will answer all your questions. I am here to answer. Till the last question is there, I will be here and answer all the questions. So, now, we will go for the demonstration. After the demonstration, I will answer your questions. Then we have our, some of our music CD and unique incense. Jasmine flower incense, which the recipe is created by me. We will be re releasing that incense also. <laughs> with some of, you see, Karnataka is very famous for sandal and sandal based incense and all that. So I work with some of the herbs and the sandal essence and created a unique. Jasmine flower, jasmine smell incense. So I will release, we will release that incense also today and then we will start our darshan, darshan. All of you will have darshan even if it goes till night 11, 12, every individual will have darshan. Will enter into the demonstration, experiment. Good afternoon and Nityanandam everybody. Uh, today what we will be doing is uh, we have placed, uh, you can see the caps on the head of the one of the participants. Uh, this is the QEEG cap which is a surface electrode and this electrode placed at strategic locations covers most of the surface of the brain. The brain actually works on electrical and chemical energy and it is the electrical energy output that is captured by this machine. 
the electrical energy in a QEEG machine uh, will capture only if at least five to six centimeters of brain area is simultaneously activated because the energy, the voltage has to pass through the skull and through the hair up to the electrodes. So it's a fairly effective uh, machine. Uh, what we will do first is we will uh, show the brain waves as they are in the relaxed state with the eyes closed and then what happens when the eyes open. Just to give you a little brief idea, there are four important brain waves that all of us manifest. Uh, the one with the lowest hertz is the delta wave which we predominantly see when we are very fast asleep. The second wave, which is slightly higher in uh, cycles per second, is called the theta waves, seen predominantly in newborn and children, and in certain other conditions, which we can come to later. As soon as you open your eyes and you're awake, the alpha rhythm takes over. Alpha is an idling rhythm, just like you on your uh, car engine and keep it idling. The idling rhythm of the brain is called alpha. And the minute you start processing information or data, it converts to beta. Beta is when focused brain activity takes place. Now you will see what happens to all these things during the initiation and energization process, uh, which will be demonstrated in front of you. Uh, we'll first start with eyes closed and relaxed state. Please close your eyes and just relax. Just be aware of your presence and be relaxed. Uh, we, we can, can now start, start the process. process. Let the Kundalini energy in you all be intensely awakened. Let you all experience highest consciousness, health, bliss. Now you can see that there is almost no cortical activity at all. Whatever squiggly waves you are seeing at a uh, very high uh, rhythm are possibly generated from organs which are subcortical. We'll ask them to relax again. Relax. Yeah, yeah, we are now ready. Let the Kundalini energy in you all be awakened intensely. If, if you look at the screen, all the uh, cortical activity appears to have... Uh, Let the Kundalini energy be intensely awakened. Now, effectively, they are not under their own cortical control. Some subcortical mechanism, I could probably explain uh, to the scientists a little better, is functioning. And that's where the energy is actually driving them. Relax. Just settle down. Do you have anything to comment about the... The graph is immediately go to normal. Now this is amazing, but surprising, and needs to be understood more. We really don't understand, but we just see them. And just to see how it helps. See, jumping is not helping. So what helps? It, it should, if we are going for something. This also explains, if it is artifact, then when they are recovering, the graph should uh, immediately go to normal. But it is still going, showing us a lot of an activation, a lot of high rhythms, a lot of high processing. Now this is amazing, but surprising, and needs to be understood more. We really don't understand, but we just see them. And just to see how it helps. See, jumping is not helping. So what helps? 
it, it should, if we are doing for something for mankind, it should give us health, ha happiness, or performance, better performance. So I did some work on uh, this participant, Ma Nirantara, yesterday did some cognitive assessment. Cognitive assessment is for how intelligent or how much brain we are using, usable brain. I did some recording day before and did the same recording after levitation yesterday. And to my surprise, we'll be showing you data after some time. It was at least improved by 20%. That's just not humanly possible. I've been, if I've been in the process of training, brain training, for many years uh, we train ADSD children, we de train depression people, many things. But certainly it is one to one and it takes at least 10 to 15 sessions. 10 to 15 sessions in our term means two months. Every week we'll be meeting. But I see this change immediately. I need to investigate more. I need to get, get into deeper. If it really helps, then really heads off. If not, then we need to work on. Thank you. So, so what Dr. Kanak explained is uh, basically that uh, in normal cognitive therapy practice, it takes a minimum of two months of therapy to get uh, objective or subjective impo improvement in uh, uh, cognitive function, which she assessed yesterday over a gap of 18 hours. And in 18 hours, she showed uh, significant demonstrable improvement in cognitive function, which she will be talking about because she's an expert in that field. Uh, and uh, we will show you about that later. Uh, in the meanwhile, we will now also demonstrate on the next uh, participant uh, who will, uh, because you need to know that this is not a one-off thing. Almost anybody's brain can be activated like this. And it is purely the energy that is coming from a source which is common. And uh, the common source for us at the ashram is uh, Swamiji. Uh, but for the universe, it's the cosmos itself. And it's from this common source, uh, the energy is being transmitted person to person. And we can show that by linking up each person uh, to the EEG cap. We'll show the next uh, person now. Please come, next person. And doctor, another thing you said that ashramites train, it is not limited to ashramites. Anybody who comes to the program also experience. So huh. you can get somebody from inner awakening. People are doing some programs here now. And the essence of the whole program is the initiation, the energy transmission. All the yoga, meditation, everything is just to prepare their body and mind to receive. Not to, you see, by your own uh, practices and process, the awakening can be only very little. Only when it is transmitted, the, such a strong experience starts happening. So all the process is preparing them to receive it, that's it. So I can, not only that, uh, anybody who comes and does the program and receives the initiation, will express the same waves. Yeah, that, that we no have doubt. seen actually in our study and we will show it again live today mm. on one of the new participants uh, of the Inner Awakening mm. program who has uh, been here with us only for the last uh, eight or 10 days. This is Ma Dwight. We can now activate. Once again, absence of cortical uh, activity. Physically, for you and me, uh, if we sit in Padmasan, uh, uh, it's not possible for us to jump like this at all. And if we do once, we'll never do it second time. This energy is coming from, uh, not from their voluntary system.
you can see the joy on their faces, which is something unusual. They're not forced. And just some interesting information. Everybody sitting on the dais has a master's degree. I'm getting a message. In Oman, six phase Rudraksha is materialized. Please welcome Mr. Mayur Patil, who's an Indian Awakening participant. We once again start with everybody sitting relaxed, eyes closed. Please, all of you sit, relax, eyes closed. You can see that there's actually more baseline activity in this uh, person than uh, the previous two participants. And this is because of uh, he is relatively new uh, though it's been initiated about uh, 10 or 12 days back. We can now start activation. Look at Let the Kundalini energy in you be intensely awakened. Let all of you experience the Kundalini awakening. As besides this, we actually did some other studies. Uh, yesterday, actually, we did a e same EEG study on Ma Nirantra. And during the process, she actually materialized a small Rudraksh, which we have recorded. Uh, she had very unusual brain waves. If you look at the uh, fifth and sixth circles, uh, where you see some uh, blue and red color, uh, this is the theta power and the beta power. In fact, her zones were completely black, completely black, global. And that is a phenomenon that even Dr. Kanak Pandey, who has been working with this machine for 20 years, has never seen before. So apparently, that is the period when uh, teleportation has taken place. But we uh, have yet to do studies. Doctor, now, have you ever seen this kind of a high peak wave? Are the, no, uh, no, 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 not in my regular practice, never. I saw once last time when I had visited ashram first time. <laughs> so not earlier, but here is. Now is my repeat. <laughs> In fact, the last uh, inner awakening, we studied other parts of the body. We took blood samples and studied the mitochondria of the cells. And also we studied the uh, sugars and the uh, blood pressure and so many other physical and physiological parameters. To our surprise, we found that uh, by the end of 21 days, blood sugar came down to normal in all the known diabetics. Blood pressure decreased by almost uh, 10 millimeters of mercury on an average, which is significant without any additional medication or anything. And the mitochondria activity in all the participants across the board increased by uh, approximately 1,300%, which is otherwise never seen in normal activity. If you go to the gym, it might increase by 30-40% and that too in your muscles. For a red blood cell or a white blood cell to show that kind of energy level is very unusual. The other studies that we have done, actually we have uh, collected blood samples for DNA analysis also. Uh, I've just got preliminary data yesterday. Yes. Can you share? Uh, see, the human being has 25,000 to 30,000 genes, out of which normally about 10,000 are activated or, uh, or uh, what we call expressed, the remaining are not actually expressed. Uh, the, we took a very small sample because this is again a, a pilot uh, run and uh, we found that 174 uh, samples, uh, uh, genes were expressed over and above the normal uh, in 21 days, 174 genes, which is quite unusual. Uh, you would not find this kind of uh, gene suddenly waking up. Now, wow. we, we have narrowed it down uh, through certain analytical uh, computer, uh, computerized analytical processes to seven candidate genes which are very commonly activated in all of them. Oh. Now, each of the gene has a specific function and in the next inner awakening, we are going to look at this gene only and see what it does and how it benefits you in health. For example, one gene I can tell you straight away. It's called a heat shock uh, protein, heat shock protein. Now, uh, the, this gene was studied in flies and in uh, bacteria earlier, and now has been studied in human beings also. 
whenever a cell is subject to stress, whether it's heat or environmental stress or any other stress, in order to become normal, it creates a protein called heat shock protein. Now the gene for creating this is immensely activated in the inner, inner awakening participants. I bless you all. Let you all achieve, experience, live, express, radiate and share the eternal bliss. Nityananda, thank you.